And we're gonna start standing. So take your time coming up. And let's start twisting first today. Bend your knees, swing your arms, and take some deep breaths. Twist out your busy day. Try to do a full body twist. So shift all the way to one side and look right behind you. Wrap your arms around. Slow it down. Come to mountain pose. Stand with your feet under your hips. Give your shoulders a couple of rolls. Close your eyes and take some slow, deep breaths. Root down through your feet and reach up through the top of your head. Softly refocus your eyes. The chair pose, bring your hands together in front of your heart, drop your shoulders down. You're gonna bend your knees so all the weight is in your heels, but don't let this happen. Keep your shoulders right over your hips. So it's gonna be a small, a small squat. Draw the core and pull the tailbone down with it. Or neutral spine, you wanna feel like the natural curve is there, but you're not overarching. Okay, so this is option one. You're gonna hold and breathe. Start to feel that activation through your thighs. If you want more, you're gonna do the full pose. Reach your arms over your head and look up as you sink down. Keep that neutral spine. All the weight in the heels. This is the only pose really in yoga where all our weight is sinking back into our heels. It's not equal through the toes. You could lift your toes off the floor if you wanted to. Relax your toes. We're going to take three more breaths. It's going to really warm up your legs, your core. If your arms are up, slowly come back to your center. Hands to the heart. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath and feel the energy moving through your legs, through your body. Press your hands out in front, open your fingers and open your arms wide. So it's like you're pushing into two walls. Draw your shoulder blades down. Breathe into that chest stretch. Fan out your fingers so my fingers are really spread and then you can even wiggle them. This is gonna open up the neural pathways from the neck down the arm. One more breath. Release, give your arms a good shake. Rest and feel the energy moving through your arms. Half moon stretch. So the feet will be under the hips. Let's give the legs a little shake. We've been here for a little bit. Reground, engage your core. You're gonna reach both arms up. Interlace your hands above your head. Lengthen your spine. So even though we're reaching up, we're trying to draw the shoulders down subtly. Send your hip out to the left and send your upper body to the right. Engage your core. You could look straight forward, you could look up or down, see what feels good. But imagine you're, it's like you're sliding between two walls. You wanna keep your body really lateral. Good job. On your next inhale, root through your feet. Inhale, come up. Exhale, let's go to the left. Send your hip to the right. Breathe, engage your core. On your next inhale, press through your feet, come up through the center. Exhale, burst your arms open slowly out to your sides. Interlace your hands behind your back. If you can't reach your fingers, no problem. Just hold on to a towel or anything that you have around and try and make a connection with your shoulders back and down. So the main thing is we want those shoulders to pull back and down. Arms are straight. Inhale, lengthen. 
Forward bend, bend your knees a little, exhale, reach those arms up, head goes down, shoulders away from the ears. Give your head some gentle movement. And let's hold here for a few breaths. Keep drawing shoulders away from the ears. It's like someone's pulling your arms up towards the ceiling. Two more breaths. Keep your hands together, slowly lower your arms. When you touch your body, let your arms go and hang. Dangle, let your body hang. Deep breaths into your arms. Engage your core. We're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time. If you're still rolling up, take your time. If you're standing, give your shoulders a roll. And let's just take a moment in the mountain pose where we started and feel the energy after that last sequence, feel the movement of energy through the sides, through the chest, through the legs. Moving into warrior two. So you're gonna face the long side of your mat if you're using a yoga mat and separate your feet nice and wide. So you wanna go as wide as you feel expansive, but you're still grounded, you're not gonna fall over. So if you feel like you're wobbly, you just bring your feet in. Bend and straighten a few times. Get into your lower legs. Last time. Warrior two. So turn your right toes out. You want your right heel in line with your back arch. Bend your right knee. A 90 degree angle here is what you're sort of aiming for. Everyone's body's a little different. But if your knee is like this and it's coming past, it's going to put pressure on your knee. So make sure you widen your stance and move your left foot back. You want to feel an opening through the front of the pelvis. Open your arms wide. Once you have your alignment, look to the right. Let's hold and breathe. Feel the rotation. The hips are going to the right, but the chest is going back to the left. Creating more space down the center of your body. Let's take a break, release. Give your arms a little shake. Let's try it to the left. Turn your left toes out, right toes in a little. Check out your alignment, heel to arch alignment. Hips are going to the left, chest is going to the right. Head is going to the left. So there's lots of spirals happening in the body. Enjoy that movement, take up space with your body. Bend your knee, work your hips. Look at one point. This time to release, we're gonna come into a plank, get really low, and then pivot and windmill your hands down to the floor. Scoot that foot back and come into a plank. So if this is too much, just bring your knees down, no problem. Hug your shoulders back. Now check, you don't wanna arch your back. Feel like you're pulling everything up and in. It's like you're resisting gravity from your core. Pull the abdominals away from the floor. Hold and breathe. When you're ready, downward dog, lift your hips, stretch out. If downward dog isn't working, you can always do child pose. So make sure you listen to your body because every day is gonna be different for you. And some days we don't wanna be upside down or holding our weight on our hands. If you are in downward dog, enjoy, stretch, breathe. Release, foot stretch, tuck your toes under. You're gonna either push your weight back like this and you can kind of control the weight through the hands and the hips 
Or if you want more of a stretch, you're gonna sit in thunderbolt pose. So your toes are tucked and you're sitting on your heels. If that's too much weight on your feet and your knees, make sure you bring your hands forward. Let's hold for a few breaths here. Release, give your toes a little wiggle. Wrist stretch, so you're gonna turn your fingers back so that the thumbs are on the outside and your fingers are pointed back. Now, if you're tight here, it's gonna look more like this and that's okay. Make sure you're not forcing it. Okay, and then if you need more, you start to lean back with straight arms. So if you need more, you would turn the hands back and you would lean back. Be gentle here. I mean, we don't do this very often, so we don't want to wrench it on the first time that we've tried this. Nice deep breaths. Let your head drop. Slowly ease off. Release, come up. Give your hands and arms a gentle shake and then do the opposite. Just point your fingertips down to create um, the flexion in the wrist. Give it a little shake. Let's try downward dog again. If you're done with downward dog, you can always do child pose. Deep breaths. Let's all come into child pose now. Rest, side stretch. Once you're sitting back, walk your hands to one side, drop your head, breathe into your side. Release, switch sides. Release, hold both arms in the center, walk your thumbs right together so the hands are really close, and then stretching the hands forward as far as you can. Really stretch your lats. So your lats are the side muscles down the back. And then once you can stretch them as far as what feels good today, let your head drop. Breathe into your back. Release, soften your arms. And slowly release onto your sit bones and give your legs a shake out. Take a deep breath. The butterfly. So you're gonna bring your soles of your feet together. Try to sit right up on your sit bones. If you feel like you're being pulled back, grab a towel or a blanket or a cushion sit on the cushion and also moving your feet forward a bit will help you to sit up. So try your best, check back with your hands, try to make your lower back pretty long. <clears throat> so if you feel stretch here, you're gonna stay here and breathe. If you're quite open and you feel comfortable, you're gonna lean forward and drop your head towards your feet. I'm gonna come up about halfway. I'm quite, tight through my hips. You can see my knees are way up. So I'm just going to breathe and be patient and allow those inner thighs to relax. So go into yourself. Let's hold here for a few breaths.
We're about halfway through the pose. See if you can go a little deeper into yourself. Listen to your body and try to breathe into the resistance, into the tightness. Three more breaths. If you're folded forward, start to come back. Once you're sitting tall, take a deep breath with a neutral spine. Release, help your knees together. Give yourself a hug, seated child pose, curl into a ball. Send yourself some positive thoughts. Release, lift your head, stretch out your legs. We'll get the back of your hips now. So you're gonna swing your legs so you have one leg in front and one leg behind. You want there to be a bit of space but it doesn't have to be at a 90 degree angle. You just want to make sure your knee's okay. So for me, I have to bring it in a little bit. And then try to keep your body forward so all your weight is going to be in this front hip. And you're going to come down to either your hands or you can try your elbows. We're going to be here for a few breaths, so you can always make it a process. As we hold for a few breaths, you can start to lower slowly. All right, the pigeon pose is what it's called. Let's breathe into that hip stretch. Notice if you're holding on anywhere where you don't need to hold on. Sometimes we clench and we guard and it's just an old pattern. So check in and see if you can relax even deeper, maybe sink a little deeper with gravity. Three more deep breaths here. Let's come back slowly. Lift your head. Slowly come back. Stretch out your legs. And let's switch sides. So your other knee will be bent in front. Just check the angle with your knee, what feels good. Start to rock all the weight forward. Start on your hands and see how far you want to go. Breathe. Let your neck relax. Let your head drop. Halfway through. Three more breaths. When you're ready, slowly come back. Shake out your legs. And notice. Relax for a moment and notice the energy. So we opened your inner hips in the butterfly and then we opened the outer hips in our pigeon pose. 
Notice the effects of that on your body. Take a deep breath. Seated forward bend. So you're going to have your feet about hip width apart. You can use a yoga strap around your feet if you have one like this. But you don't have to. There's lots of options. You can use your hands and try and sit up tall. Or if you want, you can use your hands and bend forward. We just don't want to round back. See how my pelvis is like curling back? We want to feel like the pelvis is up. If the pelvis is curling back, you're going to be stretching the vertebrae in your lower back. You want to get your hamstrings. Another trick is if your back, if it's hard to sit, if you bend your knees just a little bit, that will give you a bit of slack and you can hold on or use your hands. If you feel comfortable here, you can go right forward and stretch, but just make sure it's coming from the hips. I know you're already in the pose, so keep breathing and focus on that pelvic bowl rolling forward to get you into that stretch. If you want more into your spine, let your head and your shoulders round forward. Deep breaths. You're doing great. We're about halfway through. Keep breathing. Focus on what you're noticing. Slowly come back, release, lean back, give your legs a little shake. Take a deep breath. So our last pose is gonna be on our back. So if you wanna move your computer so you can see, or I'll just talk you through it. I'm sure you can figure it out if you can't see, don't worry. Let's use your core. So you're gonna to sit towards the top of your mat, round your back, slowly roll down. Once you're down and comfortable, stretch out, reach your arms over your head, stretch your legs down. Let out a yawn. Open your arms wide out to your sides with your palms up. Bend your knees so your feet are as wide as your mat. And just lift and drop your tailbone and make sure your back is really grounded. Windshield wipers, slowly start to sway your knees side to side with the intention of getting the full range of motion through your hips. As we go, ease into it. And it's a moving meditation. You're gonna inhale as you come through the center. Exhale as you twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Follow your breath, continue. When you're over to your next side, we're going to hold the twist. Option one, keep your knees apart. Option two, if you want a deeper twist, you're going to lift that top leg on top of the bottom leg and use your hand to gently press your legs down. And then that extended arm is out at shoulder height. You can always adjust, move your legs down if it feels like you're twisting too much through your lower back. Let's breathe into the twist. Take one more breath. 
slow motion unwind and just come back to a place where you feel neutral and feel the effects on the body, on the organs, on your mind. Take a deep breath. Twist to your other side. Try to match what you did on the first side. Open that extended arm. Deep breaths into your side. One more deep breath. Slowly make your way onto your back. Pause for a moment. Feel the effects of the twist. Draw your knees into your chest. Curl into a ball, lift your head and shoulders. Take a few minutes for Shavasana.